I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and America's sweethearts plan to spend an average of $146.84. Wow, really? People are spending almost $150 bucks on their partners? Okay, yeah, sure, I mean, I might spend that much occasionally on my wife, but I just realized that my wife has been ripping me off for years! New data shows that the U.S. labor market is now so strong that more and more Americans feel confident enough to walk out on their present jobs. First in line, Peyton Manning. Two men with mirrors and a wooden cross interrupted a campaign event in New Hampshire earlier this week to perform an exorcism on Ted Cruz. They claimed that the Republican presidential candidate was possessed by a demon. Come on, Cruz? Really? Have these people not heard Hillary Clinton laugh? Tell me that's not demonic! <laughs> An armed father-son duo dressed as elderly women attempted to rob a convenience store in England recently. Declan Pick wheeled his father, Martin, into the store, both disguised in wigs and overcoats while clutching handbags. Seconds after entering, Martin jumped up from the wheelchair and pulled out a shotgun. The store owner chased them out, and the entire episode was caught on security video. Martin Pick was sentenced to 18 years in prison. His brother Mark, who manned the getaway car, was sentenced to 16 years. Declan, who was under 18 at the time, is awaiting sentencing. Still, you know, it is kind of nice to see dads and sons and uncles bonding together. In an interview with NBC News anchor Lester Holt, Donald Trump says he would behave differently if elected president. <laughs> How is this newsworthy? It's Trump. He already behaves differently, just not in a good way. What we need is for him to start behaving differently now. A Florida man was arrested and charged this week with assault after Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation officials say he threw a three-and-a-half-foot alligator through a Wendy's drive through window in October. Sure, yeah, maybe the fries were cold, but man, there has got to be a better way of showing your disappointment. That's your Daily Dose of Weird News. I'm Darren Marlar. You can find more weird news at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, where you can also download the free Daily Dose of Weird News app for Apple or Android. You can find me on Facebook, you can find audiobooks that I've narrated, and more. And if you're going to be in the Chicago area this coming weekend, well, come visit the Daily Dose of Weird News booth at the DuPage Comic Con Saturday, February 13th. Get the details at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. 